What's up, Fish Tank Junkies? This is Holds21, bringing you a new video. Before I jump into the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, bang on that bell to get my latest video notification. Tonight's video, I'd like to talk to you guys about wild caught fish. Do you believe they're worth it? Now, I understand from a standpoint of reselling your fish that maybe it'll bring you a few more dollars but if you're not a breeder or you know in, or into retail do you think owning a wild caught fish is really really worth it let me dig into that a little deeper sometimes you cannot even tell the difference between a wild caught fish and a farm raised fish or a um, tank raised fish example I don't have an example because I don't own any wild caught fish, but I'm just saying for the purpose of this video, we might say this bad boy right here is wild caught, and I might have another one just like it. All right, going back that way, that's the other one. Use your imaginations. Just like it, but one is 40 bucks. And the other one is 149 bucks for looking at pretty much the identical same fish, except one is wild caught. Do you think that is worth it just to have that trophy of a wild caught fish? I don't think so. And here's why. I'm worried about parasites and diseases that it may bring into the aquarium. Yeah, sure you might quarantine, but as I mentioned in the previous video, how long do you actually quarantine? I don't think two weeks is going to get it with a wild caught fish. It's more like months before I'll be, for, before I would be comfortable putting that fish into my aquarium. A wild caught fish is just that, a wild caught fish. You know, I, I've gone into pet shops and seen, um, like I said, exactly the same looking fish like one time I seen a calvis which is an African cichlid you know the regular one that was tank raised was like $49 and he had wild caught on the other one he wanted $149 I'm like for what I, I don't see the difference now maybe a trained eye or a trained calvis owner maybe he can but it was not enough of a difference to me to spend that extra hundred bones. So, you know, I'm figuring it just ain't worth it. Like I said, if you're in business for resale or breeding, I get it. But for the regular hobbyist who's just in it for the love of the fish and having beautiful fish in their aquarium, to have that trophy wild caught on your mantle, I don't find it I don't deem it worth it you know but to each his own I'm not I'm not knocking anybody who don't share this um, same view as I do it's just something I thought about and I was just wondering where you guys were with that wild caught fish but here's the next thing about a wild caught fish how do I know it's wild caught because you said so I'm gonna need some papers buddy same way when you go buy that little boxer puppy first thing out of our mouths is does it have papers you know a boxer with no papers might be worth 350 bucks a boxer with papers may get you 900 just because it has papers and to tell you the truth papers aren't really worth anything other than if you're going to compete in a dog show yeah, you might have them, you can, or like I said, for resale, yeah, you can get more money. But walking down the street, and I have a full-blooded boxer, you have a full-blooded boxer, ain't nobody going to point yours out and say, that one has papers. And even if they could, is that worth another $600 to you? Because someone knows you has papers, have papers, and I don't? Well, it's the same way with these fish, in my opinion. You're going to have to, in this case, you would have to prove to me that that is a wild caught fish. And I mean, it better be some good proof. 
It better be you at the river catching the fish, tagging the fish. Let me watch that fish all the way to your store <laughs> while you put the price on it and tag it again. Then maybe I'll believe that it's a wild caught fish. Unless it's a visual difference between wild caught and one that's um, been raised, you know, at a farm or or tank raised in an aquarium at your home. But for me, I'm more scared about the parasites and diseases than anything. So I don't think I'll mess with any wild caught fish, you know, like African cichlids and stuff like that. I don't mean stuff that you just catch at your local river when, you know, you're catching them for free or lake or wherever you're at. You catch them for free, you know, it doesn't cost you a penny and you can quarantine as long as you like. I mean, when you're spending that almighty dollar, you're telling me it's wild caught just because you said it's wild caught don't mean it's really wild caught. That could be a scam within itself. That could be a whole business. All wild caught fish sold here. How do I know that? Again, unless it is a clear difference in the fish that is wild caught versus tank rays. So that's what I was thinking about tonight. When I went into that pet store and I seen wild caught Calvis 49. Matter of fact, I'm sorry, the regular tank raised Calvis 49 and that wild caught 149. It might have been 199. I'm not really sure, but it was a huge difference in it. And I really couldn't spot the difference in the fish. But I will say the wild caught was a little bigger, but maybe it was just a little older. So that's where I stand on the wild caught. Are they really worth it? Especially for someone who is not into retail or reselling the fish or breeding the fish, but just for the average Joe Aquarium lover and owner, are they really worth it? Again, for me, you gotta have some kind of proof. I just can't take your word that it is a wild caught fish and also once again unless it's a clear difference that I know wild caught looks like this versus tank rays looks like this so that's where I stand I say no it's not really worth it for disease or the price possible disease and parasites that you could bring into your tank and you might take months to get rid of them so on that note I'm gonna check out of here for tonight until the next video fish tank junkies God is love and be blessed